guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you my April meal plan for my family of six. Breakfast, lunches, and dinners. I have to meal plan to keep things running smooth around here, and I like to meal plan for the whole month ahead. So if you're interested in past month's meal plans, I have a whole playlist going for 2022. I'm gonna try to do this every single month. I also deviated a little bit from my March meal plan for the last week of the month, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you a week of meals or five dinners as well, um, what we ate five nights in a row for dinner because I know you guys really love a what's for dinner video on this channel as well. So I've got a few what's for dinners from last week as well as April's meal plan. So here's what we have on the menu for the month of April. Okay, so we are having a ham dinner tonight and I made some Brussels sprouts to go on the side. And then my mom and dad, we invited them over for Sunday dinner tonight. My mom brought some fresh green beans I made some honey butter because I tried a new roll recipe. Ignore how ugly they look. I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the timer and I didn't let them finish their rise. So they're not very like uh, rounded at the top, but they are so good. I will link the recipe down below. It's for like a copycat King's Hawaiian roll recipe. And they are really good to go, or that honey butter is really good with them. So that's dinner tonight and dessert. I will show you in a minute. Okay, Annie, what's for dessert? It's Blueberry cobbler. And where did we get the blueberries from? Mom, from the, we went blueberry picking. We went blueberry picking, so we made some blueberry cobbler, right? Mm -hmm. Or blueberry crumble. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, and some gluten free for Papa. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is Monday, and typically I will do a crock pot dinner on Mondays. But I saw this recipe, it seemed easy enough. We have a crazy schedule typically on Mondays. Um, so if I'm gonna make something other than something in a crock pot, it's gotta be very simple. And I saw this recipe and I really wanted to try it. So this is for baked mac and cheese. It's really, really creamy. It's made with Gouda and cheddar. So that sounded like a winner in my book. So we are having this. And then I just did some quick pan roasted broccoli um, on the side and I might pull out some strawberries as well I'm not sure because um, the broccoli cooked down so much I literally had this entire pan full and it just cooked down so so much so um, it just depends on how far that gets so uh, mac and cheese and broccoli tonight simple Monday night dinner and I will link the recipe for this mac and cheese down below because I tasted it as I was putting it together and it was really good. Okay, we are missing a plate at dinner tonight because Annie is having fish with grandma and grandpa tonight. Uh, we're just having turkey spaghetti tonight. This is homemade garlic bread, really easy recipe. I will link below and then um, a house salad with a lot of cucumber because we just went to volunteer at the garden yesterday and we picked I think we ourselves in an hour picked seven, right Bella? Seven five gallon buckets of cucumbers. And there was another family there volunteering. They picked seven or eight buckets of cucumbers. So we brought home quite a few cucumbers and then we went over to where they wash everything and get ready to um, distribute them. And there were probably, I wanna say 30 buckets of squash, yellow squash and zucchini. So we have, uh, you know, they let us take a, a little bit of every harvest home. We have a lot of cucumbers, a lot of squash, a lot of zucchini right now. So I'm gonna have to work that into the meal plan because we probably have like 10 cucumbers just this week. And I know that next week we'll get a bunch as well. So that is dinner tonight, spaghetti night, simple and out the door for dance. Okay, I am just setting the table here for dinner. John went to go pick the boys up from karate and we are having Trim Healthy Mama's um, cauliflower, I think it's called chicken fried double rice. It's just a fried rice recipe, but you use brown rice and cauliflower rice and I double the recipe. I follow it exactly, I just double it and then I use um, liquid aminos instead of soy sauce. I have to double it. I need to get a bigger pan just for the nights we make this because everything's barely contained in the pan, but the kids love this recipe. And whenever I double it, there's still no leftovers. So I'm gonna keep the lid on there to keep it warm. This is Jesse's favorite meal. Second favorite meal is meatloaf. 
close contenders, but this is his favorite. Um, and Bella, this is one of your favorites as well, right? What? Is this one of your favorite dinners? Yeah. Yeah, this is one of our family favorites. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight. Just that. It's a one dish meal. There's tons of, you know, cauliflower, peas, uh, carrots, and then some chicken and egg whites. So lots of protein, brown rice, everything in one dish. So that's dinner tonight. Okay, it is a church night quick dinner. I just had some tortellini in the refrigerator. So we did tortellini, pesto, pesto tortellini, I don't know. Um, and then I just took one of the um, yellow squash from the garden because they are humongous, literally like the size of a football <laughs> or bigger, I wanna say, um, and just did some quick um, squash and onions on the stove top. So just a quick, simple dinner tonight on our way to church. Okay, so now that you've seen what our derailed meal plan looked like last week, it's time to get on track with a new meal plan for the month of April. So here is what I have on the menu for breakfast, lunch, and dinner all through the month of April. And I mention this every time, but it's worth restating. I meal plan for the whole month for a couple of reasons. One, it helps me know ahead of time what I can buy in bulk, which is becoming more and more important as prices go up. And then also, it just helps keep things simple and eliminates the headache of weekly meal planning for me because I feel like that's where I get derailed. If I don't have a meal plan, then on Sunday, I'll be like, oh, okay, well, tomorrow we can just order from this place. And then I then by Tuesday, I'm like, well, we're already halfway through the week. And then I just don't meal plan and I wing it and winging it is just a terrible idea for me. So I keep the same meal plan for the whole month just because it's so helpful when it comes to bulk shopping and just keeping things organized in a household that is very busy. So breakfast and lunches, they look the same um, Monday through Sunday. I just repeat the same Monday through Sunday schedule all month long. And then dinners, I change every night. So what I have on the menu for breakfasts in April, every Monday in April is the same actually as the whole rest of the year. It's just muffins and fruit because Mondays are the day we have to be out of the house a little earlier. So I just make muffins on Sunday night and have them ready for Monday. And then the bonus is that there's some snacks like Tuesday, Wednesday, never, they're never around still by Thursday, but this month I'm doing some bulk baking because we went blueberry picking and then we also got a ton of zucchini from the garden that we volunteer at. So I'm going to do a big bulk batch of whole wheat blueberry muffins and then a bulk batch of zucchini muffins and that will be helpful just to pull them out of the freezer on Sunday night, let them thaw out and then the kids can warm them up if they want to on Monday or they're just sitting out and ready. <clears throat> and then it'll also be helpful as I get closer and closer to my due date and don't really want to be baking on Sunday nights anymore. Every Tuesday in the month of April, I have egg sandwiches and fruit. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are really um, busy work type of school days. They're where we do our more book work. We don't typically leave the house during the day on those days. And so I have time to make like a hot breakfast um, and get us into our studies with a good breakfast behind us. So egg sandwiches, usually on croissants, and then fruit, that's one of my kids' favorite breakfasts. Wednesday, I have French toast and then Applegate chicken sausage and fruit. So for the French toast, as often as I can find the artisano golden wheat bread, I'll use that. Um, sometimes I just use the regular artisano bread if it gets substituted, but that golden wheat bread, um, my kids really like that for French toast. And then we love the Applegate chicken sausages and like I said, fruit on the side. Thursday, I call it creamy oats, which might sound really bizarre, but we love we love oatmeal in this house and we have oatmeal many different ways. Um, my kid's favorite is baked oatmeal, which I don't rotate through our meal plan too regularly because they will burn out on it. Um, and then they also love just the Quaker organic instant oatmeal packs. We always have that on hand as like a snack or an after um, dinner, like bedtime snack type of thing. So we always have those around as well, but creamy oats is just what I call stovetop oats where, you know, I make it with 
milk and um, it's like really extra creamy and they can add toppings and fruit and nuts and things like that to it so that is what we have on the menu for Thursdays in April Fridays is yogurt and granola I'll just make a big bulk batch of this granola recipe that I love as well and have that made ahead of time and then on Saturdays Saturdays are my cleaning day so I'm really not like I get up and get moving and start cleaning before my kids are up and moving for the day so that's just like a sleep in and grab yourself a bowl of cereal kind of a morning and then Sundays as always we have bagels and we are usually eating bagels in the car on our way to church because our church has grown so much late recently and we have to leave earlier and earlier um, in order to get a parking spot and so we are usually in quite a rush on Sunday mornings so bagels just keep it simple for us on Sundays so that is what I have for breakfast for April there's one exception I forgot to mention and that is that um, on the um, Saturday before Easter we'll have resurrection rolls which are like those Pillsbury crescent rolls you can put a marshmallow inside and do the whole story of Jesus and the empty tomb and I will link information on that down below if you don't know how to use that and how to do that it's a fun little thing I've done with all of my kids since they were little just to show them and retell the story of Easter As with breakfasts, our lunches are the same. Again, helps me with bulk shopping, helps just keep me moving without having to think every single day, what are we gonna have for lunch today? Stopping our lessons um, and making lunch so it's easy just to plan it for the day. So Mondays for us are packed lunches in April because we either have our co-op, our Charlotte Mason co-op, or we have a volunteer at a garden so we need to have packed lunches on Mondays just to keep things easy Mondays are also our longest day of the week um, we have activities from the moment we wake up and get out the door until um, Bella had like the kids have karate violin Bella has her point class and a private lesson so we have things that go until basically nine o'clock on Mondays um, so packed lunches save the day Tuesdays my kids always love calling Tuesday Taco Tuesday even if we're not having tacos they're like oh what day is it oh it's Taco Tuesday so Tuesdays I am bringing in the taco theme we're gonna have quesadillas on Tuesdays this month um, with just some veggies and dip on the side chips and guacamole Wednesdays we will have salad bar with baked potatoes I've been all about the baked potatoes in this third trimester I cannot get enough of them and so um, whenever I make potatoes I will bake them and like have a bunch made up for the week that I just need to heat up and I will have salad and baked potatoes almost every day of the week my kids will have it a couple days of the week with me they love salad bar um, and then my youngest who doesn't really like salad will just eat like all the salad toppings with her baked potato um, so that works out well uh, Thursdays we will have egg salad sandwiches this month or just hard-boiled eggs with again veggie dippers like uh, sweet peppers carrots cucumbers um, celery and then either ranch or hummus depending on which kid uh, Fridays we will do a snack platter which is cheese crackers fruit veggies hummus pretzels um, as well as um, twice a month we have our history co-op on Fridays so um, for that we'll either do like a big snack platter or frozen pizzas or whoever hosts history makes the meal so sometimes I'll make a huge pot of macaroni or I'll make sandwiches um, so that's for about is it 10 kids nine kids nine kids right now we'll have 11 kids between the two of us um, next year so whoever hosts makes lunch so I just kind of um, plan a snack platter for when we're home and then I'll make something on the week I host and then she makes something on the week that she hosts Saturdays again is salad bar and baked potatoes and then Sundays right now we are going out to lunch at this local um, plant nursery they have a local um, a little restaurant now that sources local ingredients and they're 
putting in an open air market as well. We're really excited about it. It's pretty close to our house. And so after church, we've been meeting my father-in-law there for lunch on Sundays just so he gets some weekend time with the kids as well. So those are lunches for the month of April. And then um, I also, in the late afternoons before activities get going to hold them over between lunch and dinner, do a green smoothie every single day for them as well. So we rotate between a few different smoothie recipes like peanut butter banana or tropical fruit smoothies or berry smoothies with yogurt. But they do have a smoothie every day in the afternoon between lunch and dinner. Okay, so moving on to dinners. So here's what I keep in mind when I'm planning my dinners. For those of you who are new here um, to my meal planning videos, so Mondays are our longest night, so it's either something I can make ahead or it's something that goes in the crock pot. Thursdays are a church night, so it has to be quick and easy to get out the door between activities and then church. Fridays are always a, a, dinner, a pizza night, and then Sundays I like to do... Um, something that either takes a little bit more time for me or we just do something family style like John will grill something and the kids and I will swim while he's grilling out there and then we always have dessert and play a board game on Sunday nights that is our family reset night where we just kind of have some family time play a board game or do a puzzle have dessert together and just sit around the table and catch up before we start into a new week so that's what I keep in mind when I'm planning my dinners uh, just in case you want to know like what my system is. Also, I got my weeks mixed up while I was doing this meal plan. I thought that Easter was the third week of April instead of the second week. So I kind of went back and uh, switched the weeks around in my planner, but you'll pick up on that as I go. I just didn't want to rewrite everything. So sorry, it gets a little bit confusing halfway through here. So week one of the month, we are having Sloppy Joe's Monday night, something I can easily make ahead. And then we'll just do some like uh, sliced veggies and ranch to dip it in on the side. Tuesday, we are going to have a simple veggie stir fry. Wednesday night, we were invited to pizza at a friend's house. So we're going to switch our Friday pizza night for Wednesday that week, as well as Thursday, we're going to have chicken Caesar salads and garlic bread. This is a great one because John can grill the chicken up ahead of time. And then I can just toss it in a salad, make a quick a loaf of garlic bread for the kids to go on the side and we can get out the door for church. Friday, we're going to have taco movie night instead of pizza movie night. The kids will be thrilled about that. They love a good taco. And then Saturday, Saturdays we have leftovers. If I think there's something that I can double for leftovers that week. Um, and if John and I aren't having our date night that week, then we will sit and have leftovers with the kids. But most often Saturdays are our weekly date night. And so we will just have the sitter heat up dinner or I will heat it up as we get out the door. Sunday, we are hosting Bible study that very first Sunday of the month. So we're gonna have Trim Healthy Mama, barbacoa. I'm going to make their like version of barbacoa beef in the crock pot. And then I also love the 100 days of real food, green salsa chicken. So I'm going to use both crock pots to make the beef and the chicken. And I'm just going to make the ingredients for burrito bowls. Uh, that's always hit with a crowd. And we have quite a few people here when we host Bible studies. So I'll just put out some rice and some different cheeses and salsas. And then those meats and some veggie toppings as well as some quick pickled onions. I'll put that recipe down below as well. And then Eli's been asking to make a Coca-Cola cake. So I think he's going to make dessert for that Bible study. So that is what we are having that first week of the month. Moving on, I've got some crock pot barbecue chicken nachos for Monday. Tuesday, by request of my oldest son, we'll have meatloaf with green beans and rolls. He loves, loves, loves meatloaf. So I actually have to double that recipe every time I make it because he will eat like three slices on his own. Wednesday, we'll have chicken euros with a Greek salad. This is a really simple chicken euro recipe. I'll link this down below. I'll link all of these recipes down below, but it's worth noting that if you've been nervous about making euros or if Greek food kind of makes you anxious to cook and you always order it out, this recipe is so simple and it's one of our favorites. You'll see it on my meal plan quite a bit. So that's Wednesday. 
I recently did a Walmart grocery order and I ordered hash browns for the kids and instead of getting like the hash brown patties, they substituted a ton of shredded hash browns and I'm like, what am I going to do with all these shredded hash browns? So I'm just going to make a breakfast casserole recipe that I found that has hash browns in it because otherwise this like shredded hash brown bag will be sitting in my freezer for months. Friday. Um, We'll have pizzas and oven baked chicken wings. I will link that down below. Don't you worry. Sometimes I forget when I say that. You guys hear me rave about these chicken wing recipe all the time and then half the time I forget to link it down below. So I promise you I'll link that down below. Um, My kids all love chicken wings. Even Annie, since she was like two, would ask for spicy chicken every time we had pizza. And you guys know when you order pizza how expensive the wings are. So we started making them at home a couple of years ago and I cannot justify ordering wings from a pizza place anymore because they're so good, so much cheaper, and they're not fried. Um, Saturday, again, we'll have leftovers. My guess is that it'll, it'll be a leftover breakfast casserole. And then Sunday, John and I went on a little baby moon trip and uh, we love St. Augustine. There's a restaurant in St. Augustine called the Floridian and it's so good. It's like a fun eclectic vibe and they have all sorts of really good local produce and food and they have this salad. I don't know exactly. I think it's just called the Floridian Cobb salad but it's a kale Cobb salad. It's got like a bacon honey mustard vinaigrette And then they've got pickled red onions, which I'm a sucker for. (laughs) They've also got some marinated cucumbers in there. Anyway, when we were eating that salad, I was like, you know, I have to remake this this month, right? And John was like, please do. (laughs) So I need to um, try my hand at doing a copycat of that salad recipe. It was so delicious. So I'm just going to have John grill some shrimp to go on the side that Sunday night, and then we will have dessert. The next week, we're going to have crock pot Tuscan chicken and rice. Um, On Tuesday, we're going to have chicken lettuce cups. This is one that my kids have all really enjoyed since they were younger. Wednesday, veggie lo mein by request of Jesse, who loves lo mein. Um, Thursday... Thursday, so this is the week that I messed up the schedule. Um, I realized as I was writing it down, like, wait a minute, what is the, what week is Easter? So um, Thursday, we were invited to a Seder meal and we've never gone to one before. So we're looking forward to that. um, And I'm not sure what I'm going to be bringing to that. She hasn't told me yet, but that is what we will be having on Thursday. Friday, our church is having a picnic in the park for Easter and for Good Friday services, so we're going to be going to the church picnic. Saturday, I thought we'd keep it simple with subs and chips, and then Sunday, we will be having Easter late lunch, early dinner with the family. So for that, I'm actually not hosting this year, so for that, I'll just be bringing a Hawaiian roll recipe. Oh, actually you saw that in the beginning of this video because I just made that this week. So I'm bringing Hawaiian rolls like the um, copycat King's Hawaiian roll recipe um, as well as a dessert, which I haven't decided what dessert. Oh, I'll probably make my mama's carrot cake um, and bring that. So that's what we're having that week. And then the last week of the month, we are having pulled chicken with peanut sauce in the crock pot on Monday. Tuesday, I'm just going to do some like stovetop turkey burgers. We'll have a fruit salad and I'll make some oven fries for the kids. Um, Wednesday, again, another request for my oldest son. He is like really, he's really put in a lot of requests for the month of April. Uh, He loves fettuccine, Pioneer Woman's fettuccine, and I love it because it's very easy. And then I just make an antipasto salad to go on the side. Thursday, I'm going to do Trim Healthy Mama's queso chicken bake. I'm going to make that ahead, and then John gets home ahead of me on Thursday, so he can just pop that in the oven before church. Um, So that'll be simple, but that's a really great recipe that I try to put on the menu at least every couple of months because it's simple to assemble. It's got some great ingredients in it, and I know it's a really well-balanced meal for my whole family. Friday... I always make sure to add ordering pizza to one Friday a month just so that I can 
have a night to look forward to. I feel like if there's a night that I know I'm not cooking, it'll help sustain my energy level the whole month because I'm like just looking forward to that one day that I know I'm not cooking. Saturday, again, leftovers. It'll probably be leftovers of the queso chicken bake because it makes a big batch. We're kind of in between on so many recipes. Like one doesn't feed us all, but if I double it, it's a little too much. So that's the recipe that I try to make for leftovers on Saturday. And then the last Sunday of the month, we will do chicken kebabs. And then I'm gonna make a warm orzo salad, which this one has like mint and feta in it so it looked really good um again i'll link that down below and then whatever dessert the kids want to make as well so basically every sunday this month john will be grilling outside so that is what i have on the dinner menu for the month of april as well as our breakfast and lunches i hope this video was helpful again all the recipes will be linked down below and i will see you soon bye guys